Welcome to Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. Uh, I'm going to do things a little differently today. Uh, first of all, let me explain to you. I'm going to show you the star of the program today will be the Leah. I guess it's Leah shaving cream. I've used this before. It's just it's a huge, very huge. Take a look at the size of this <laughs> this one compared to this one. This is after shave, but the, their shaving lotion comes the same size. This thing is really big. But it's, it's great value, and I believe it comes from Spain. Yes, from Spain. Leah, it's called. All right, uh, put that up there for a minute. Uh, this is the first time that I'm going to use uh, a feather blade. Right here, supposed to, supposedly the sharpest blade in the world. These are made in Japan. I'm trying to find a video of how they make these things, and then I'll post it up on my website at rhood.com for Robin Hood, rhood.com. And this is the blade. And that sharp blade I'm going to use in a mid-grade razor, the Merker 34C. I, I'm trying to twist. It doesn't do that way. It, this one twists on the bottom, and the top comes off. It's a two-piece razor. So let's put this in here right away. I'm also going to shorten my videos. I'm going to keep them down ah, about 20 minutes if I can. And uh, the reason being is I don't want you guys to get bored. And I think I can pack the same amount of information uh, in as I would on a 30-minute video. Uh, all right, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm not paying attention to you guys. What I'm doing is I'm checking the alignment of the blade in here before I really crank it down and it looks good to me. There's a slight overhang on it. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, it's a nice razor, very nice. My other one I used the other day was a 37 C slant razor, but this is a straight up closed comb razor, 34 C. Very common razor, great for beginners. So, uh, what was I talking about here? Yeah, I'm gonna shorten my videos down to uh, 20 minutes and let me know what you guys think of it after you watch a couple of them. If you want me to go back to 30, I could, but I want I don't want you don't need to see me wash my head down like this in the sink and you know put it up you don't need to take a look at my area here that I need to paint so I'll be chopping a lot of that nonsensical trivia out of the website so all right let's wash my head <sighs> wash my face we'll get it right I'm gonna use a big ass brick of soap here there's a link in my uh, uh, show more down below so let's get going with this the brush I'm going to use is a, a yaki brush it's a synthetic brush 24 mil and I'm, I am trying to uh, what was I gonna I'm trying to what yeah we'll think of this thing hold on a minute here's the brush right here I'm using this is the the Yaki 24 really nice synthetic I'm using more synthetics now if I don't throw it all over myself okay we'll put that I've already put some of the Leah in my little bowl so before I do that, I'm going to take the other bowl that I had my brush soaking in, fill it with new, hot, fresh water, and set that off to the side. Let's see how we do here. I'm not going to use any uh, pre-shave today. I probably should because I'm using a new razor blade. So let's just see how we do with this. Probably had too much water, but we'll see how it does. I can always add more soap. It's coming up nice. I want to get rid of the large bubbles. That just takes a little bit of work. It's a, it's a real nice smell to it. Scent, smell, taste, smell. Oh, now it's coming up nicely. Nice and creamy. My growth today is just about what it was last time. I think there's about three days of growth on here. So I wanted a little bit more hair on my face or whiskers before I used uh, that blade of the uh, feather blade. I had to look. So I'm trying to get a, somebody wanted me to get a Robin Hood hat. Or I, I think I got one on order. <laughs> so this will have to do, it's kind of woodsy at least. All right, I think we got enough here. All right, let's see how we do on this. This feels like a 26 mil, but it says 24.
And you guys know I stopped shaving my head for a while, only because the fact is I had a couple of lesions in the top that were frozen off. And so far it's looking good. I'm not worried about it. They're going to go down and go away. It's viruses. And I think I got it from a razor or something. I wasn't near any wild people, so I just want to really work, work this in nice. I'll probably get it all over my shirt. It's dripping quite a bit here. I hope you're having some good shaves. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. Uh, right after this video, I'm going to shoot another short video, maybe five minutes long, on how to clean your razors, the razor blade, the brushes, the bowls, etc. How At least how I clean them. Everybody's a little different. But if you're new to this game, it's important that you uh, keep your equipment really nice and cl clean. It shaves better. It's like a car, you know, when you, uh, oh, I'll get it on my, let's get some up here too. <laughs> okay. It's like a car that, uh, it runs better. It seems like it runs. I think it's all psychological. But in a razor, it's a little different. If you've got a lot of buildup of sticky, slimy, sludgy, man, that's great. Soap, all the adjectives. Between the little grooves, etc., on your razor, it's, it's just not going to shave quite as nice as you would if it was super clean. Besides, you sh it seems like you take more time when you shave with a new or a clean razor than you would a one that's licked out it came from the campgrounds in the streets of San Francisco, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's good. Oh, oh man, I did a nice job there. These other guys do this so cool, they go like this, and it comes off. They've had years of experience. Me, I'm just going to use my rag. There we go. All right, uh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm shaving. All right, I'm going to take this razor. I already put a razor blade in there. Feather. I want to heat it up a little bit. I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's see, we're uh, seven minutes into this video. Let's see how we do. I'm going to tip this up a little bit. Take some sh short strokes to begin. This is a mild razor with a very sharp, aggressive razor blade. I would not recommend this razor blade, the blade at least, to a new shaver. It's just too much. You can always work up to it. An Astro Green or a Persona Red or a Gillette. And then move, get more aggressive as you get more experience. Nothing new in the detective front. I don't think there are any cool stories. I have to serve a order of protection tonight. This guy evidently, this is emergency order of protection. This guy has, uh, that I'm serving, threatened his girlfriend. They're not married. He drives by our place 20, 20 times a night, three times a night, calls her. So a stop, it's going to be put to a stop. Now, this razor, this is the first use of this razor blade, not razor. It tugs a little. It feels sharp. But some people say that they get better, they shave better after the first shave, we'll see. Like the third, second or third use. So if you ever get a razor blade that you use and it's really sharp, and you say, oh, this is too aggressive for me, keep it off to the side, put a little dot on it with a magic marker, that's what I do. 
and uh, stick it off the side. Use it again and see if the second, third, or even the fourth shave is better. Tell you the truth, this is not the. Uh, it's, it's this is a sharp shave, sharp shave. That's I like that sharp shave. I'm not gonna say that fast, but it's not a comfortable one because it's it's like pulling. And of course, there are some other variables too. How wet the face is, the type of beard you got. Is it coarse, the type of shaving cream or soap? It's a lot of little variable salt. And everybody's different. All right, we'll go for the second pass now. And we're 11 minutes in this video. I'm going to see if I can do it in 20. So I have to keep my stories short. I want to thank them all. Thank, thank, thank all. Boy, I haven't even started to drink yet. I don't drink much, but... Of course, don't look at the New Year's video. <laughs> uh, thank you for subscribing and for, for your comments. And my uh, friend on uh, Thailand, Lee, I guess you ask me uh, when I'm going to go overseas. Probably uh, in the spring of this year. I don't know what month yet. I'll be going to the Philippines, hopefully back to Singapore again. And I'm, I'll be doing some shaves over there, so and I'll get them up on YouTube. It'd be kind of interesting with the backgrounds. But right now they have a volcano that's uh, spewing a lot of ash out. I don't, I, I don't know. What, that was about uh, three, four days ago. I don't know what's happening to it right now. This is going really smooth. and I'm doing the uh, Kevy Shaves thing here by making it glossy. This brush is really nice. This soap that I'm using is just a wonderful soap. I mean, it, it smells really nice. It's not overpowering. It shaves good. Take it with you if you're traveling. You probably could put it right on your face if you wanted to. Maybe I'll try that one of these times. All right, enough. Sideways now, we're gonna start down and move up just for something different. Light pressure with a razor, a razor blade. Flip it over. It's a rough shave today. This one's a little better because his whiskers aren't as long. I have a lot of links. In the show more area below my videos. I think I told you that I'm an affiliate with a lot of razor companies and with Amazon. If you do order off those links, I make a commission on it. Not enough to even cover the cost, but it helps me pay for fish food for my fish. I have one fish, he doesn't eat much. All right, moving along. So I would appreciate it if you would, uh, if you have the, ur the need or the desire to uh, order, I would appreciate it if you went to my links and use those. My fish will thank you. All right, here we go. Last pass. Looking better already, huh? Like the hat today? I got some more. I must have a hundred hat, different hats in the basement. I got to dig them out. I don't even know why I'm doing 
doing the hat thing. So far the soap appears to be very slippery, easy to make a lather out of, nice and glossy. And you know that my last second and third shaves or passes, I like to have a little bit more water in them. All right, this is gonna go against the grain. Good audible, audible quality. It's not as uh, pulley, pulley. The uh, razor doesn't blade rather. The razor blade does not feel quite as aggressive on this pass. Oh, by the way, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon here in North of Chicago. You see the lights coming through the window. Tell me if it looks better. If you like me to shave at night or during the day. When I shave at night, I looked at the last video. Oh my God, I look like I was ready for the morgue. My face is all gray and pasty. I blend it on the lights. Oh, my LEDs here. I had to blame it on somebody than me, other than me. Okay. All right, one more quick pass around the base of the neck. Oh. Here we go. It's my speed shave today. It's a test to see if I can cut my, cut myself, cut my whiskers or shave my whiskers without cutting myself. All right, one more pass around the base of the neck. My hand in there. If you rub your hand over afterwards, your fingers, you can feel where you missed. All right, good enough. Put some cold water on it. Ah, yeah. I'm gonna use some Humphreys witch hazel, and I got tea tree oil in it. How's that? Looking good, huh? Oh man. All right, Humphreys with witch hazel. I put about uh, 10, 15 drops of uh, witch hazel, you know, of uh, tea tree oil. Oh, this is nice. And here, witch hazel is an interesting shrub. Grows by the side of the roads a lot of time. All right. What did I just do? Okay. After shave, I'm going to use some Old Spice. This is not the old one. If I can get this top off, there we go. I can remember when I was. Lived in the rink ranch as a kid. My dad used to shave in the basement. Oh, this is nice. And use uh, Old Spice all the time. All right, and the final thing I'm going to use to uh, rehydrate this, the, uh, Face is uh, the caffeinated aftershave by Pacific Shave Company. I've used this a couple times before. I like this. I'm not going to use too much. Put that on. Oh, push up, push up, push up. Push down, push down. There we go. <laughs> Man, I'm all ready to go to the forest now. I went bow hunting once. For deer, and I had a, a ladder, and I went up on top of it. I got scared out of hell on my, my, myself. 
I tried to put the rope around me, the safety rope, to the tree, and the rope was that too much too short, and I said, that's it. I just got down, and I never went back again. All right, let's go on with this. I use the uh, Pacific Shaving Company, the uh, caffeinated aftershave. It's really nice. Try this out. I have links below. Of course, I use the Old Spice. I'm sure you're familiar with that. It's been around for eons. The uh, witch hazel I use is Humphreys. Humphreys. The razor blade of choice today was the feather, the sharpest blade in the world, made in Japan. Not for beginners, though, unless you're brave. Then the razor I use with that blade is the Merker 34C. Very common, great for beginners. Also, uh, the uh, Edwin Jagger DE89, or this one, is a great razor to start with. And then the star of the show was Leah, right here. I'm going to put a link right under the picture for this. Appreciate it. If you try it out, you'll love it. And then the final thing I used was the 24 mil Yaki brush. And ah, it's nice, really smells nice. Nothing is really overpowering. The soap, by the way, I used to wash my face with a big ass brick of soap, link below. And I'm gonna have a couple of videos up here and one down there that you could take a look at. And then also I'm gonna have the subscribe button. So thank you for stopping in to Sherwood Forest and uh, join me again in a couple of days for another shave. And I hope you're all well. Leave your comments below. You know I, uh, I answer them all. And thanks for all you new subscribers. Thanks a lot. Cheerio.